Would it be weird if I got another handheld all-in-one tool? Would the tool be for on-site technicians only? Well, yeah. Let's look at this. An interest, interesting product. It's not a cell phone though. What we have here is an all-in-one Android tool that is designed for on-site ISP technicians. Yeah, yes it does look like a cell phone, but not one cell phone I've ever seen has all these ports. In the port, top here. Let's have a look. Wait, before you do, could you give me a like or subscribe, maybe a comment? Thanks, I appreciate that. So the front of the unit has a touch screen with a native 1080 by 2160 resolution. Isn't that standard for phones, I wonder? Hmm. Ports and connectivity. On the bottom, we have a USB port for charging. And I think data too. I'll look at that later and we'll have a look here. From the left side, we have a full-sized HDMI input port you can connect to your TV box. Technicians on site would use this for checking maybe like the NVR or the DVR that they're connecting for the customers at the ISP. It could be handy for doing that. Under the HDMI port is a spot for your SIM card because it's like a cell phone, right? Hmm. Ports and connectivity. On the bottom we have a USB-C port for charging and for data transfers, I think? I'll have to confirm that. From the left side, we have a full-size HDMI port. This allows us to plug in this device into um, the device you're setting up instead of a TV because maybe you're setting up a um, ISP piece of equipment before the customer actually moves in. Pretty handy to do that. Maybe like a TV box to check to see if it has signals. Underneath the HDMI port is where you put the SIM card so that way you can have it not have Wi-Fi or anything like that for doing all your um, logging and stuff so you can send it back up to the ISP and stuff. An orange button on the left side is programmable, but when you press it, a barcode scanner function pops up. I think that's programmable. On the top, we have a handy optical power meter port for checking fiber cables. You need to get your own uh, light source though. That doesn't, that's not included with this. It does have some basic fiber functions. We have an optical power meter that can measure between 800 and 1700 nanometers and it has a built-in VFL with adjustable output power from one milliwatt to 10 milliwatts, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I've never seen an optical power meter that can uh, adjust the output power, but that's good because if you're just doing small cables, you don't really need 10 milliwatts to check a small cable. Cool to have. Next to that, we have dual ethernet ports. One's a 2.5 gig port and one's a 1.5 gig port. Not too sure why there's two different ones, but they're there. Under that, we have a barcode scanner camera with LED. On to the right hand side, we have three buttons. Well, kind of two. One's a volume up down button, and then the other one's a power button to turn the unit on and off or to wake it up from sleep. And on the back, yep, there is a back side. We have a nice little speaker. Sounds good. Put some music on this thing and it worked. And beside the speaker, we have a handle to hold on to it. And then we have the camera and it's 16 megapixels and it actually takes pretty clear photos. Oh yes, I did try because it does. I was curious, I wanted to see how good this was. I'm thinking, nah, they're kind of iffy, but actually it works. And it does have, and I noticed, it has a front facing eight megapixel camera. It's pretty clear, but you know, it's only eight megapixels. I almost forgot, there are some specs for this unit. The unit does support 5G LTE and CDMA. It has Bluetooth capabilities, Wi-Fi, A, B, G, N, A, C, and A, X, basically 2.5, 2.4 and 5G. All right, let's move on from some specs and get in some real live tests. First, let's check out the VFL. We have a fiber cable plugged in. Let's launch our tool. So we go into tests and then we launch VFL. And then on here, we just push the light to turn it on. And we have light for our cable. Remember, this is just to test to see if we have a visual verification. That's it. If you have a calibrated light source, you could use the power meter built into this too. A key feature if you are an on-site technician, and remember, this tool is not a network tester, an analyzer, or anything like that. It's an all-in-one tool for somebody going 
to site and fixing houses and stuff like that for doing ISP tests and stuff like that. It's not meant to go on site and do network tests with switches and stuff like that, like some of the other tools I have. This is just dedicated for an ISP technician. Now, let's check out the ethernet ports. It's got two of them on there. And I think I said it's got two ethernet ports. One's 1.5 and one's 2.5, but actually it says on the top, they're both 2.5, so maybe I have an old manual or something like that, but whatever. Plug it in the top, and we're on the right port. Turn the unit on, wake it up. Enable the Ethernet port, we just pull down. And these are actually on side to side. So this one goes to this one, and this one goes to this one. So I'm going to turn on this, and if we wait a second, we'll see we have Ethernet cable lights. Okay, so let's try a um, speed test. We'll open up um, the speed test right here. Push go, and we get a gigabit speed internet. My internet's only uh, a symmetrical one gig. There we go. We have our symmetrical one gig. Okay, tool, this tool comes with some actual built-in tests too. So we click on this blue icon here, it says tests. We'll click on that. Let's check the auto check here. And then we'll try the ping after. It's using google.com to start its test. So we'll push diagnose, poof. It does it real quick, and we're ready to go. It shows us our stats. It says we have poor network quality. I'm not sure why, but I have gigabit, so whatever. And it says business quality, faster, gives us our IP addresses, pretty basic, right? We can do a ping test, and we'll go, say, my router, okay? And we'll go, okay, IPv4. And it does its binging. Works good. So just like the Ethernet port, let's try testing some Wi-Fi connectivity. I'm gonna do the same test. I'm gonna do a speed test web page, and then I'll do their app and show you some networking and stuff like that. Pretty simple, easy, and uh, should work and be, in re be real effective for somebody on site. Let's try the Wi-Fi now. We'll pull down, we'll turn on Wi-Fi. It should already be connected, but we can just push our finger down to see if we are connected. We are connected, ready to go. And let's try a speed test. Here we go. And remember, this is on a Wi-Fi right now. Pretty symmetrical, off by a little bit because there's probably stuff going on in my network, like uploads and my backups. But that's pretty good. I think that's my video. If you guys have any more tests or things you want me to do, let me know. Um, and I'd be happy to uh, do some more tests and suggestions and stuff like that. It does run Android, so you should be able to install any apps you want from the Google Store and uh, put apps on there and stuff like that. Have you be like maybe some other Wi-Fi tools or some apps to do notes and stuff like that. All can be done just like how you do on the um, a normal Android phone. I don't know if there'll be a compatibility issue or not. Maybe they'll push a new version later on if there is one. But for now, that's my video and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. See you guys later.